Hello! Welcome back everybody to Tyrion 2000. Alright, let's continue here. We're playing another secret stage. So secret that it is an unknown planet, apparently. Asteroid? That's another name on the side. You don't seem to be a boss. Okay, I'm taking hits much more easily now, which I don't like. Do I get points by destroying enemies? Yeah, I do. So many things shooting at me at the same time that... Am I aiming well? Yes. Don't... don't... start with... fucking... pop-outs. Alright, these guys are kinda tough. Those were really tough. Whereas the others are kind of a joke. Scrolling move is, is also moving faster. Which complicates things a little bit more. Difficulty is definitely increasing. Oh yeah, l let's not forget that the secret levels are shorter. Don't have bosses. Shield is like the one thing, the first thing I should focus on. I think there are generators. Got the max. Kind of great on to level six. Wait, what about my rare guns? I got this one. Power four, power five. I think I made it a little bit more powerful. Sabara, which seems to be like the next main area, no longer a secret in this planet. Hey, water! So we got regular 1942 style levels. Okay, now I can certainly tell what really attracted me from this game. The variety of levels, it's not just a space shooter the backgrounds change a lot. Again, uh, it has to do with um, colorfulness. The variety of backgrounds. Since I'm exploring planets, basically each of them has their own environment. In other words, basically let's use all the, the, the backgrounds from all the shooter maps that have come out at the time, not only in space but also in the jungle, in a military fortress, just to name a few examples. Again, it is awesome that they're using those resources, basically. It's not just one style of, um, or what, one type of background. It goes for variety, which is great thing. Look at that, a blimp. I 
And it's, it acts like a regular enemy. Not some mini boss or anything. Oh, I got a rare weapon power up in the level itself. But it seems like I downgraded my front shots. Am I right? Yeah, that, that's what happens when you get stuck and you get hit too many times. Too many times in a row, I mean... One hit is fine, but get away. See, now it seems like... Yeah, I got all my... my power back. But for some reason, after I grabbed that item that, in theory, powered me up... It, it seems like did pretty much the opposite. This sort of enemy gives it, gives me money. These are the levels in which I shouldn't die that often. The regular levels, basically, because they are longer. Well, those guards are tough. But they seem to give you a lot of points. Slush money. Or not. Maybe I'm wrong. Love those noises. Taken from Raptor. really tempted to go for the blimp. Well, I went for it. But I didn't destroy it completely, though. Shame. Yeah, that that's what I was afraid was going to happen if I went all the way into the blimp. At least I recovered all my shield in no time. I'm still in warning, though. Is that supposed to happen? It seems like I grab an item that stopped the warning sound. I think this was the one that killed me. One of these. Yeah, I didn't get this far. Look at that guy, so brutal. Green ship is what I have to be most careful about. So apparently this game is applying the large enemy approaching. The, the ignore the big enemy if you can't kill him approach. Kind of a shorter level than the others. I should consider buying bombs if there are a thing uh, for bosses. Because it seems like these boss battles are kind of long. But oh, they will become longer, as you can tell. Health bars. Are kind of bigger. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Dude, the boss is getting closer. It's so invasive. Can I actually get something better? No. Heavy guided bombs. Oh, but it, it is a choice. No, I don't wanna... Okay. Yeah, the boss is gonna be a problem. Good luck. I made it to the boss without many issues. 
but the boss itself it seems like I was hitting him but it didn't do as much damage as I would have liked that's the impression I got Is this really an upgraded version of the same weapon I got, or the same combination at least? I don't know. It seems like I got rid of the rare guns. It seems like some of the weapon configuration like resets after I die or something. Oh, this sounds kind of glitched out a little bit. Data acquired. Let's see if I can kill, kill the blimp faster. No, I can't. It made no difference. Not enough time to destroy the blimp entirely, unfortunately. It would, have, it would have been interesting to see how much more points it would have given you. Now we got these guys, then we got the green uh, planes that shoot massively, and then the balls, right? Kind of how it works. Well, I kill him fast. Give him no time to react. Yeah, this is the last enemy before the boss. So let's see if I can do more damage now. Large enemy approaching. Fortunately, you have to do a lot of dodging. Not only bullets, but the enemy itself, which is kind of the things that worried me a lot for this battle. I don't know if I can destroy section by section. It seems like I'm not doing all the damage I would like. Again, I'm not certain about hitting the right ship, part of the ship. Careful. Maybe there is a pattern that I should observe more. But it feels like it's shooting more and more and more as we progress. Yeah, you can destroy the sections. Also, one thing that I said I was going to do and I wasn't applying very much is whenever I get hit once, get away. Give it time until the shield recovers. Okay, I'm closer now. Much better shape. Okay. A little bit more stressing than the others. Hardest boss so far, clearly. Okay, let's see if I can upgrade something here. Okay, that's the limit. Rare gun. It seems like I didn't upgrade. Oh, a fireball. But again, it, they're making me choose. In terms of the shield, we are at the same... with the same um, features. Sidekicks. 
Maybe it is time to buy one. Microbomb. Let, let's go for a dual shot. Just to see how it is. On the right, same. Alright, let's play one more level. A bonus. Alright. So I guess it, a level like this wouldn't kill me. Or it is just for the points. I see my sidekicks now. Yeah, I was wondering. It was a little bit of an empty level after I killed this guy. I mean, I know it's a bonus, but give me something. 1k! Yeah, I'm shooting everywhere now. And I know I can become more powerful than this. Okay. Alright. Pretty generous uh, bonus area. Warning. Trajectory heading intercepts minefields surrounding the Liani. Navigation through minefield necessary to reach the Liani. Unknown magnetic forces detected ahead. So, it might be the last stage of this episode alone. Who knows? Let's see if some of the conditions have changed. No, let, let's say brief just one more. Front. Let's see it at that. Shield. Uh, okay. Diliani. Now, there, there seem to be more plans in this episode. I think I, I'm kind of in a rush to move, to move on to the next episode, which I shouldn't. Let's enjoy it. Enjoy everything, come on. These are the minefields. Oh, I saw that big gem and couldn't get it. At least I'm powerful enough to destroy this these mines quickly enough. And it's a fast scrolling level, so obviously it will require your weapons to be better by now. So upgrading obviously becomes mandatory. Full. All right. Doesn't even have a boss. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna check out the the upgrade system in after every level. It seems like I'm changing it to level five every time, and it downgrades me. So I have to change it manually every time. These are activated, right? Yes. Alright, now we are going to the actual Dilyani thing, whatever that is. Some sort of mechanical city. The bullets have a weird trajectory. I don't think I played this many levels when I was a kid. Might have played two or three at most. Maybe I sucked too much at shoot them up so that I couldn't upgrade it. The Soul of Singlon. And what exactly does that imply?
I heard this music before. Oh, I, I got this famous soul or something. Uh, I assume that's what it is. Uh, right at the top of the screen. I guess it's a bomb of some sort, but I, I don't know how to activate it. Unfortunately. Seems to be kind of an easier level compared to many of the previous ones. Or at least M tier. Many of these enemies actually seem to be tougher. But after a while they completely disappear and, and it gives the, the impression that it's not as tough of a level, who knows. Probably the boss will prove me wrong in no time. Or just these regular enemies. I mean, it is just a matter of time and until all of these attack me together and fuck me in no time. I know myself. So, in uh, Raptor, if you guys remember... You changed the music. Yeah, boss time. In, in uh, Raptor, you got 10 levels before ending an episode. Might be a similar case here. Okay, now I see the health bar. The so what's the real boss? Oh, I kill, I destroy the balls. The big Greek balls, okay. They don't take as long as it might seem. Okay, now I can focus on the balls entirely. I, and I seem to be dropping his health much faster than other boss battles. But he shoots more as well, so it's a little bit on the challenging side. Okay. See, it, it gets me back to four. How about now we got actually better weapons? Let's continue with the multi cannon. Level six now. Okay. Back to Savara. Okay, why are we going back to this level? Okay, we're going back and forth in between areas. However, the areas themselves or the levels themselves do not repeat. The location is the same. But the enemy display is different. Apparently the music is also different. Alright, I love that. Back to the blimps. Wow, that blimp actually got destroyed in no time. Maybe they have less health. I don't think I've become that much powerful. Oh shit, I didn't see the blimp! And that killed me, wow. Yeah, I keep in pretty much the same feature, so... Look at that right side of the screen, it says Savara V? I guess so. tricked by the blimp basically because I was it was like 
inside the, or, or right under the clouds. Still have warning and I have full shield. Hopefully that will stop. That item that stopped the warning thing. Okay, this uh, weapon display is still very effective. Oh, it happened again. Because I get really with the blimps. Boss. I see the the tip of something. So apparently you shoot that thing every time you stop your auto fire yeah seems to be like a quote unquote charge shot which doesn't charge it just requires not shooting anything at all I don't know if it does much more damage though careful Seems like staying in the very middle. It's paying off. It really did pay off. Wow. Level completed. Savaravi, literally, yes. So they're gonna do that thing often, apparently. Now that you have saved the crisis on Savara and earned the help of Trans Unlock. You head back to Tyrion to find out more about this, this new power. How could such an innocent pile of rocks be used to devastate planets? You must locate a sample of this new energy. If nothing else, perhaps it could be harnessed back against Microsoul's new device. There, on the far side of Tyrion. A sample? Looks like a fairly substantial... Oh no! Microsoul! So wait, um, are we still on uh, episode 1? Yeah, apparently so. Interesting. Um, I guess it saves my game? I hope it did save my game because I would be really frustrated if it didn't. Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.